Back in 1993, I think it was, I was running through the braids and chatting to somebody, and uh, they said, do you do a bit of sailing? I said, aye, I do a bit of sailing. Well, you do a bit of running and a bit of sailing. I said, I know the race for you, the Scottish Island Peaks race. So I thought, well, that sounds good. So I found a partner, Jonathan Mull was my partner, except he backed out, and then I got linked with Dave Cummings, and we had a blind date on the Scotland, Scottish Island Peaks race. It was the best race I've ever done. It was the most fun. It was just a fantastic three days and uh, really exciting and really difficult. And ever since then, I've done it, well, I think I've done it 14 times now. I can't uh, remember the order I did it in, but uh, the first one was about 1993. So I am, uh, I've marshaled a lot as well. And what I'm doing tonight is just to tell you a quick about the race. Can you see hands up who haven't heard of the Scottish Island Peaks race? Hands up who have done the Scottish Island Peaks race. Hands up who'd like to do the Scottish Island Peaks race. Good, good. So, the race starts in Oban, and it starts at uh, 12 o'clock on the Friday, the 15th of May this year. And you start in Oban, and you've got teams of five people, three sailors usually, and two runners, or five all-rounders. And all-rounders, it just means that everybody on the boat has to have done at least one hill, and all the hills should add up to 10. If you do that, you're an all-rounders team. So I ran as a, a normal runner for the first 10 years. You start in Oban, and you do this run up over the tops of the hills, and then back along the road. It's about three miles, and it takes, about, it takes me about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And then you just jump into a boat, and you sail from Oban, up to Salon. Now, you normally leave in Oban about one o'clock. You get into Salon about three o'clock. Uh, and then, start in Salon, and you run up the road, and then up to Loch Ba, where there's a checkpoint there. And then you run up over there, and over, and up to the top, and then back down. So you run this way up. And then cross over the top, contour along, back round, back round, and back in there. And and some people are doing it in three and a half hours. I would take probably about four and a half. And it's quite a climb, and it ends up being about 23 miles. Then, get back in the boat. By this time, it's usually getting dark, about 10 o'clock. And you start sailing through here, and through here, through the sound of wing here, uh, where the tide can hold you back. And uh, down through Jura. Up here is the Corrie Vrecken as well, somewhere. Difficult to see what it is there. Uh, so some people actually go round, and some people go this way. But you end up in Craig House. Now, normally you get to Craig House. Well, I've been at Craig House at, just before dawn on the, sun, on the Sunday. So you've already run three miles round uh, Oban, 24 miles in Mull, and now you have to do about 13 miles and three parts in Jura. So in Jura, you start. It's kind of like the Jura race. You've done that, except you miss out these bits. So you start here, and you run up. And you do the three pats and turn back down, back along the road, jump back on the boat. And you can see the three pats, each one about 1,000 feet of climb. And then just jump back on the boat. Now, this is a photo of Jura, if you're not known Jura. This is Moira and uh, Maggie when we did the first time I did the all-rounders. And this is nine, uh, 2005, I think. So jump on the boat, sail around the Mullican Tire, which can be a wee bit messy. And get around here now, Saturday night, Sunday morning, getting here about. I've been there before dawn on the Sunday. And then you just easily get off the boat, run along from Lomash over to Brodick. Then you do more or less the Goat Fell race, which happened the day before this as well. So uh, then back down, back on, jump on the boat again. And here again, you've got about 3,000 feet of climb. Now, this is me, and you might recognize this young lad, Mark Johnson. I think this is 1996, Paul Cabin Even there as well. Even you quite young there. Yes. <laughs> and then you jump back on the boat, sail across the Troon for the finish. And uh, this is us in our first all-rounders team with Moira, Ian, myself, and uh, Alan Rankin. And we had Maggie taking the photo. And this is us at the prize given. The, the team. So that's the first time I ever did the All-Rounders. We went on to win the All-Rounders. Uh, I've won the All-Rounders twice now. 
but the best thing about it is if you're not running the race, it's marshalling. And this is me marshalling on Dura, and you go out and put the checkpoints out, and you have a lovely time on the hill, and you can spend time exploring. And if you want to do the race, this is the best way to find out the best routes. So you just offer to marshal, go out to the island, help, and you don't, the marshalling really consists of checking kit, uh, making sure that everyone gets on and off the island, and maybe having to go out and help if people get into trouble. So we require marshals. We require, if you're required for Oban from 11 o'clock to 2 p.m. on the Friday, and that's just to guide people around the route. And now we have a total of 12 required from Friday to Saturday. It's usually over by lunchtime on Saturday, and also people to put out and take in the markers. The island reader for that is Joel Sylvester. Dura is sorted already. Uh, Gus and Jean Bowman are looking after it, and they've, they've got a full team already. Aaron, we've not got an island leader, because I would be doing it, but I'm doing the race this year. A team of 12 required from Saturday until Monday, busiest is Saturday night and Sunday, markers to be put out before and taken in after. Now, anyone that offers to marshal will get reasonable travel expenses paid, their ferry crossings, won't get accommodation, but there's usually somewhere to camp. So it's a really cheap weekend. It's really good if you want to actually find out anything more about the Peaks race uh, and enter in it. And if you do want to enter it, contact us, Alison MacDonald, entries at Scottish Island Peaks race. She'll take any inquiries for marshals as well. So if you'd like to take part, I'd like to become a marshal. If you're a runner, want a sailor. If you're a sailor, want a runner, entries at Scottish Island Peaks race. That's me. Thank you very much. Thank you.